quick announcement before this video starts. Thank you guys for 127 subscribers. That might not mean a lot to you, but it means a lot to me, so keep them coming. Now let's start the video. Howdy guys, welcome back to my desk. I'm sorry I got lost in the wilderness for about two months, but I'm back now. And with that, there are some changes around here. First of all, we added general additions to the wall here. Uh, I swapped the places of that and that. You know, kind of swapped those around. And we got some new additions too. Like this virgin thermos. Uh, if anyone asks me, Ryle, will you get a girlfriend? This is my response. We speak box over here now. Just needed to put that piece of crap somewhere. My amiibo collection down here. Uh, my shrine to all things red and black. Uh, you can see it's a... My air freshener on my alarm clock. On top of Wii Mini. On top of a new 3DS XL and a regular 3DS XL. Both red and black because why not? Now I know that mini home tour didn't have anything to do with the actual video, but I need to tell you about it anyways. Something else I haven't been doing in a while is homebrew. I've been mainly doing regular Wii stuff on this channel for the past two months as well, both on the Demay channel and Wii Connect 24. But now that we're back here, we're gonna do some more homebrew. And what's better than homebrew than the homebrew channel? Now, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you probably haven't seen my update rap. Hey guys, I'm working on a new video and I'm bringing it to you an auto rap form because I need to make everything difficult for some reason. So the video is going to be about all the ways you can install the homebrew channel, like SDR2 hacks and the SD card card methods and internet channel crap's gonna be so good. Oh, it's gonna yeah, be yeah, yeah, you get the gist of it. I'm doing all the ways to install the homebrew channel, baby. Like SDR2 hacks and flash hacks and the letter bomb. We all know the letter bomb. Alexa! Can you get rid of that flashing yellow light? Okay. What? <sighs> you know, I'm not really worried about robots taking over the world right now. Now here's Exhibit A! Now you might be saying to me, Ryle, isn't that a picture of Rainbow Dash? What does that have to do with homebrew? Well, guy, it has all the things to do with homebrew. You see, this is the mascot to SDR2 Hex, the first thing we're going to install. And what better way to install it than with the internet? That's right, you don't need an SD card or a channel. It's also what I like to call the lazy way out for people who don't know how to work hard. Which is why it's the easiest. You just mess around with some internet settings, go to a user agreements page, and install it that way. Pretty simple, right? Well, it's so simple that I forced my past self to do it by gunpoint. Let's go to him right now. Here's past Ryle. Welcome to STR2 Hacks Tutorial. Well, now that you're on your Wii menu, click Wii Settings, or Wii Options, whatever, Wii Settings, and go over to Internet. Click connection settings click on the connection you're currently using for your Wii and if you don't use the internet on your Wii what is wrong with you click change settings scroll over to auto obtain DNS make sure you don't confuse it with IP address that's a very common mistake so make sure it says auto obtain DNS on the top if it says yes click no and go into advanced settings as you can see it's blank which is why we're going to fill in the blanks I'm going to put the primary and secondary DNS right here, and while you look at that, I'm going to type it out here. And there we go. That's what it should look like. Click confirm, click save, and it will do it a connection test. And let it do it, because, I mean, you have no other choice. finished. Whenever it says to perform a Wii system update now, click no. Now back out until you see user agreements along the bottom here. Click that. Uh, I don't know why on my theme it's very dark to read, but that says yes and that says no. Click this one that says yes. Click next. Connects you to the internet. And well, guy, it has all the things to do with homebrew. What? 
Why? 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 Why do you do this to me? Why? Okay, okay, sorry. I got a little carried away there. Once you get to the screen, don't click I accept or else your Wii will freeze. So don't do that. Just wait. See, it's loading now. Then it has a stroke. Yeah, it's a pretty intense stroke. And then you get to this screen. You have been scammed and should demand your money back immediately for the detail C link. Pretty standard stuff. Now the screen will be here for a while. You can't do anything until some text appears on the bottom that says press 1 to continue. Right now. You'll get to this screen here that just shows you what your iOS is, what can be installed, or what can't be installed. Now once you get to this screen, highlight, install the homebrew channel, and click it. I already have the homebrew channel, so I don't need to click it, but once it reads SUCCESS in green text, you know you're good to go. And once you do that, click exit, and then you will be in the homebrew channel. Okay, so I got like some little NES theme going on here. What it normally looks like is a blue background with some bubbles. Now if you don't know what to do from here, it's pretty simple. Just make an apps folder in your SD card, download some homebrew apps, and get those homebrew apps going. Back to you, future ride. Oh, Rainbow Dash. Hey, I told you to warn me before cutting away. Okay, here, flash hacks. The second thing to install. Now this is more of a medium difficulty, also known as the doesn't work half the time difficulty, because it uses the internet channel, which uses a website to download stuff to the SD card, which means it's very slow, also crashes half the time, and is not worth your time, and I do not recommend it. So let's cut to past Ryle! Welcome to tutorial number dos. We are going to go into the internet channel to install this one. Click start. If you're not a bumbling moron, you don't need to listen to those instructions. Opera powered. Hiss! Click web address and enter the link down here. Once you do that, you will come to this screen right here that says, Welcome to Flash Hacks. Please select your Wii's region below. U for United States, E for Europe, or J for Japan. Click whatever your Wii's region is, click the little star icon on the bottom, and you click Add Favorite. And you'll add that as the favorite. Click on it. And you'll come to this loading screen right here. Huh. Well, it's not loading. It's not loading for me. So, you know what that means? It means that this is all their fault and not mine at all, and I don't recommend this. <laughs> You know, in your job description, it's uh, specifically mentioned that you're not supposed to fail. You're not even paying me. Shut up! Now, this is the most well-known of all the Wii hack methods, letter bomb. Now, if you go on YouTube or something like that and search up Wii Homebrew, this is the method that most of the videos are about. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it, but for your first time through, it can be pretty tough. Pretty simple once you get it down. Might be a little difficult, so let's cut to past row. Oh. Welcome to method numero three in a row. We are gonna do letter bomb now. Go into your Wii settings. Click Wii settings. Go over to the second tab of the settings. Click internet. Click console information. Type in whatever thing is up here. Write it down on like a post-it note or something so you can remember it for later. Now that we got that, let's go to the computer. Hello, welcome to my computer. This is where we're gonna install that letter bomb thing I was just talking about now. So what you need to do, write that MAC address down that you already wrote down on that note earlier. Now remember, it doesn't matter whether or not you click the red wire or blue wire. Both of them will download the same thing. The CAPTCHA. Like, cut the red wire because I like red, and anyone who doesn't like red is a liar! Then you have the zip file. Unzip that file. Now drag all the contents to the SD card. It will copy the files to the SD card. You can now take it out. Let's get back to the Wii thing. Okay, we're back now. We got the SD card, and we're gonna put in the Wii. Turn it on, and press the A button. Now, you must go to your Wii calendar. It's the one with the, the letter icon. Now, there might not be nothing here, but go back a day. 
and then you will see a letter with a bomb inside of it with an SD card icon on the top. It's got a little red envelope kind of thing. Click on it. Now don't be terrified. And now we're at the same screen we were yet last time. Press 1 to continue. And then here we are. We're here again. Now for me, it says uninstall the homebrew channel, but you know, click uninstall the homebrew channel and it does the same thing as we did before. Pretend I didn't have the homebrew channel before so I don't embarrass myself. Look, oh my God, we have the homebrew channel on here. That's pretty hot. Birdie. Hmm. Pretty standard stuff. Now play me out. I can't lose ad revenue if I'm not making any.